my loyal subjects, it's me, Princess Sword Art the Gamer Queen here. Back with another new Let's Play, this time being the sequel to Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations 2 for the PS4. But I'm really excited to play this as it's about two days after I filmed the finale and I just, I'm just so excited to get into this. Because we're about to see the events that unfolded in between Resident Evil 5 and 6. But before we begin, I'm aiming for a goal of 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. That's currently... 81... 80.1% 80 of you who watch my videos have not subscribed yet. But if you're new to the channel and want to see more awesome content like this in the future, Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and join my kingdom of heroes. Cause let's see that subscribe percentage go up! As it's one of my goals for the new year to get to go up as we've been doing pretty good so far. But not subscribed has been going back up a little bit but I know it's because of new people seeing the channel for the first time. But I know... But we're gonna keep trying to get that not subscribe percentage to go to go down and subscribe to go up. Also, with this video, we're currently at 513 dis subscribers, and I gotta admit, I'm just very happy that that we made it to halfway towards the goal, and we're gonna keep pushing to get there. Well, <clears throat> just, we're gonna keep trying to get there. As I do hope to reach 1,000 subscribers before my channel's first anniversary. But just also, I'm very thankful for every single one of you who's subscribed so far. <clears throat> as it means so much to me, as I love being able to do awesome content content here on the channel for everyone to watch, enjoy, and have fun. But now, without further ado, let's get right to the video! And sorry if I don't sound so good right now, I'm just... I get a little bit congested in the mornings. Alright, press any button. Resident Evil. Oh, they didn't say Revelations 2! Hmm. Hmm, I think this is good. Uh, I'm gonna have subtitles on. Because they're always pretty cool to have on. Just in case, you know, you miss something and... Alright, start the game, normal, episode 1, Penal Colony. Fear night, fear not night, bronze col- what did I say? The last Violet. name. The world lives with it. You live with it. After what happened in Terragrigia and so many other places. Misused with tragic results. Right. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes. Lansdale. CEOs who betray consumers Where's for that? a quick buck. No, that ain't Lansdale. Count on us instead. We're above the politics. Always watching. Always ready Terra to save. Head on. We are the unflinching mop that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us... T 
It's nice to actually see other organizations starting to be formed. Because now that the FBC was gone, it's definitely time for another, you know, company to be able to show that it wasn't, didn't have malicious intent. Moira! Moira's actually one of Barry Burton's daughters. Because we did know, we do know that he said he had family that I was looking out for. When did the hazing start? In the original Resident Evil. For how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. <laughs> oh my god. Claire, could you, uh... What's up, Neil? Something's going down in Washington. Did you hear anything? What? The new virus? Oh, wait! You know Tricell's history. Wait, right? was this... Was this um, Leon? And Elena? Cause... Hey, that's Barry Burton's girl? Yeah. Moira started today. Hey, at least but Tricell was put to, to an end. Dad? Cause oh, after yeah. what they pulled... With working with Oscar... Okay. It deserved to be one? shut down. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I gotta look out for Terrasin. We have our enemies. Anyway, good luck breaking her in. Especially since Exola was willing to help him. Bye. I really love her necklace. Because uh, I gotta admit, time? that's very cool. And also her jacket. I ask him anything, he pushes back. I wouldn't even be here if I listened to Huh? What the heck is going on? I've never really gotten to really play through Resident Evil Revelations 2. But I'm really excited to be playing through this, because I think I only played through a little bit. It's hard to remember. What the heck? Oh no! But we start our story in an unknown area. <gasps> Definitely pretty crazy. But nothing we're not used to in the Resident Evil universe, am I right? Why did it open? I didn't do anything. Probably because of the bracelet, is what I'm assuming. Is that Moira? Don't worry, we're coming. Moira! Oh, thank God. Moira, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Claire? Oh, I mean, that's okay. Hey, take it. I mean, right. Stop it's okay, it's okay. Claire, I just want to go home. It's okay. Just I know. Wish I could tell you. Right. 
All right, let's get out of here. Well, that's crazy. I know. Uh, let's just move a little bit more quicker. Definitely seems like a place where they did experiments. Because after what we've seen in the Resident Evil universe, definitely that. Right, move over to the edge. Okay, is she coming? Okay. Oh wait, that that was another girl. Hello? Oh my god. What the fuck? It's sad seeing this. Ooh. This would come in handy. Right. Huh. Guess I'm on light duty. <laughs> All right. Hmm. All right. I think we can get that window busted open now. There's a way through on the other side of the glass. Ooh. There we go. I see they use this, the textures for the handgun ammo from Resident Evil 6. Hmm. I like how it always changes with every game. Well, you know. Because I'd say we compare, you know, all the previous handgun textures. I can squeeze under this. Give me a hand, Moira. Go! All right. Then Moira can hold it, and then we can get by. Oh, thank you. Careful. Stand back. All right. Let's push this out of the way. Hi. Uh, excuse me, but personal space, please. Thank you. No scaring people! That wasn't nice. <sighs> Sorry. That, that girl from earlier. Here. Come on, hurry. Oh, the leads right under there. Ugh, these POWs do not ever learn their personal space. Gina. Oh my god! Uh, <gasps> no! Uh, uh, did you know her? Oh my god. Yeah. She's with Terra Save. Why would anyone do this? In a messed up head. 
She was just an innocent girl in all of this. I know. <gasps> Almost got it. I'm hoping we get some guns or something soon. Because I only got to play through the first episode of this. If I remember correctly. Ooh. Check him. The key's gone. Cried. But you, uh, we got a gun. It's more reliable than any person. Right. So? Let's take his stuff. The key must have shook loose when the body fell. Right. It could be anywhere. It's too dark to see. Shine the light around. I wish we had Genesis. But, instead, we got something more useful. A flashlight! Okay, let's see... Right... You think it might have snagged on something on the way down? Claire, right there! I see the key! It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. Personal space, please. This is for Gina. Come on. Go away. Come on, come on, up the ladder! Need green herb, I need it soon. Let's double back and try the key. Don't even try it. Not scary. Ooh. Well, I can see how they were in here. Hey!
Is it back up here? I think... All right, let's get out of here. Oh! Shotgun! Sweet! You need a gun too, Moira. No, I really, really don't. Sorry, I don't do firearms. It's Not okay. Anymore. It's okay, I can understand. Maybe we can find you something else. I feel no, bad for Moira for what happened. It's fine. I feel bad for Moira after what happened. Like there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit her with a flashlight. <gasps> oh my god! A crowbar! I like that little ding. Half kind of drawing. Oh, so that's what that last name was. Because I remember now. Because I couldn't read the the one letter in it. All right, bright open. But should be very useful. Useful for finding ammo and stuff. <gasps> hey, hey. Where did you go? You saw that, right? Little girl. Yeah, I saw something. <laughs> right, be very quiet and keep on our toes. I know. You can tell me. Really? Talk to me. All you what just you doing is playing mind games. Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet. Ugh. Is she talking? I don't know, but still. But we got the detention center map. This looks like a way out. Alright. Oh, fucking technology. Hmm. I see a customization kit. Okay, not able to go through there. Gotta keep on our toes. Excerpt from Kafka's. There's one home. But there's the gear. Look at this machine. There's something stuck in it. It's not working. Gonna need power. The power must be off. Maybe there's a switch? Or a generator. Oh, sweet. Hmm. 
Okay, so don't really have anything yet, but... Oh, sweet. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, let's see if there's a generator up here. Oh! See if you can climb up. Okay. <laughs> Awesome! This should come in handy! Ham gun ammo case! And those make a return as well. Huh? I thought I saw something. I can't do this alone. Right. Looks like we're gonna have to wait to explore the rest of that area. Oh! Horse! Because we just had to give Myra a boost so then she can unlock it. Oh my god. The fact that they just probably did this to innocent people and even children was wrong. You guys aren't nothing new that Claire hasn't handled.
All right, let's search around a little bit more. And that is definitely bad. Okay, switch to Moira. Oh, sorry, Claire. Yay! Right? What is this? Kafka's drawing. Awesome. Check around a little bit more. Oh, shoot. Yeah, maybe let's wait. Let's come back here till we see, you know, where that other one leads to. Alright, turn that off. Are those the generators? Come on. Don't even think you scare me for one minute. Hmm. Hi. Leave her alone. Huh. You look just like the guys that dealt with from Resident Evil 4. Back off. I'll take out most of my shotgun ammo. But at least I got damage upgraded on this. Oh, sweet! Motov. Okay, not Motov cocktail. Rusty key. Oh, this leads back to that one room. But mostly, considering the many years I've played these games, I really know how to, you know, brave it. Bugs. Of course, there had to be. Bugs. Ugh. Go away. No! <clears throat> okay, can we jump? I don't see any way other... I don't see any other way around.
We still gotta get that generator working. Because there has to be a way over. Maybe more sweets through there? No. Okay, then. Guess we're gonna have to. Right? Right on over. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. Whew. Don't worry. Oh. Oh, there you are. Come on, Moira. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah. I was almost a clear sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. Fairy tell everyone that story. Well, at least the fact that Jill almost became a Jill sandwich from Resident Evil 1. Oh my god. Everyone loves that classic joke. Oh shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Crud. But I still can't believe they threw in the classic line from Resident Evil 1. That, the fact that during the mansion incident when Jill was getting the shotgun and was trapped in that room. That was about to crush her. Barry was able to pull her out in time and made the joke that she almost got turned into a Jill sandwich. Pretty funny. Pretty funny how that's really continued on to this day. Am I right? Sandwich. Oh, Barry tells everyone that story. Well, at least we've got power. That should help. Crud. Because what were they even using these for? In case anyone tried to escape? Are you kidding me? Right? Right, come on. Sandwich. Oh, Barry tells everyone that story. Well, at least we got power. That should help.
I really love how the screens changed. Yeah, that was almost a clear sandwich. Oh, Barry tells everyone that story. Well, at least we got power. That should help. Mm. Too quick. Sandwich. Oh, Barry tells everyone that story. Well, at least we got past. Oh, come on! Oh, sorry about being so angry, but still, shouldn't be this ridiculous to get past. What? Are you kidding me? You and me both, Moira. You and me both. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, maybe we just go the long way around back. Cause I'm not gonna fool with, you know, the blade thing if it's gonna be this complicated. Right. Oh, sweet! Miss this in here. If anything else is around, hmm? Ah, oh, sweet! More ammo! Oh, wait, this is the other way around. So... <laughs> Throw beer? Now that's teamwork. I'm more to stun an enemy and clear follow up with a physical attack. In the main campaign. Hey! Here, come on, come on. Oh. How to do a lot of work to get it. But it was definitely worth it. Oh, 
Okay. Let's get out of here. Don't think you can pull a fast one. All right. The blades are definitely going to be activated now. Oh, shoot. Not wasting any ammo on you. Right. And then Oh shoot. Um Hey. Is there any way to switch it over? All right. So here I'm, I'm thinking is, as soon as we get that gear in... Oh. Don't even try it. Okay. Getting sick of these guys. I'm on my way. We try. Because, okay, I think... Because I'm trying to think, but I think I might got got a good strategy down now. Because here we have more rope. Go away! Oh, 
Because here we have Moira work on the door and have Chris, uh, Chris Claire send off the enemies. Hey! Personal space, please. Thank you. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Look at these guys!
die. Moira! Okay, get to work on that door. Okay, more of them that come barging in. Alright, she's almost there this time. Not yet. Well, fuck that From this whole fun. place. Where do you think you are? I know, right? Ugh, really? Oh, again with these stupid bracelets. Who are you? I want answers. Overseer. You must go to the Vasik, where life begins. What do you want from us? Nice. Real nice. Huh? What is this? Wow. Oh, sorry, Claire. Yeah. Radio Tower. We can contact for help. Claire, look. Over there. All right. Let's get over there. Maybe we can send an SOS. Oh yeah. Oh. jumping this yeah I don't think that's the safest choice see you can do it right Right. Muriel never forgive me. Plus, we don't know who's I doing this just fault. yet. Also, Barry can kiss my ass. The guy bitches and moans and granny swears about everything. Hey. He's just protective. 
After all, we know he was protective of his family in Resident Evil 1. The fact that Wesker took advantage of him because of that wasn't right. Alright, quick load. Put that in. Alright! So? No. It's dead. Hmm. You stay here. I'm gonna go check it out. Moira Burton. My co-workers and I were taken here against our will. I don't know where. We have these fucked up bracelets, and this crazy woman is talking to us. Some kind of monsters have killed the others. Please, send help. Please. And they realize they're on an island. I don't know. But? Woohoo! Next. All right. All right, so I think this is a good spot to leave it off right here. Let me see what we got. All right. Got some skills upgraded, but this is a good spot to leave it off right here. And in the next video, we're going to continue on with the story and see what happens next. But, like always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future, just like this, and make sure to click that notification bell down below for my latest videos and updates, and make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes to help me continue the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off. Bye!